CGRP is a neuropeptide with multiple functions that contribute heavily to migraine. In the trigeminal system, CGRP can be released from different sites, including the afferent terminals in the meninges and the efferent fibers that terminate in the upper spinal cord. From there, CGRP has various effects, which can lead to headache pain. CGRP can act directly on smooth muscle cells of meningeal blood vessels, or indirectly by stimulating the release of the vasodilator nitric oxide from endothelial cells. This causes the blood vessels and the meninges to widen, which contributes to the development of migraine. The co-release of CGRP with other neuropeptides also induces plasma protein extravasation from meningeal blood vessels. CGRP can also trigger the degranulation of mast cells, as well as the release of cytokines from glial cells. While treatment options for multiple myeloma have improved over the past decade, drug insensitivity and treatment resistance continue to be problematic. Remaining malignant clones, known as minimal residual disease, are thought to be associated with a poor prognosis and earlier relapse. Therefore, new approaches targeting myeloma are urgently needed. One of the promising approaches is to identify cell surface targets that are specific to myeloma cells. Such targets include CD319, a signaling lymphocytic activation molecule that is expressed by myeloma cells, NK cells, T cells, and most B cell types. The human gut is home to billions of microbes which make up the microbiota. The balance of various microorganisms found here is key to our health and overall well-being. This balance, however, can be easily disturbed, resulting in diarrhea, gastrointestinal disorders and discomfort. The immune system is normally able to detect and kill tumor cells. But recent developments in cancer research show that tumors defend themselves by secreting galactins, a family of sugar-binding proteins. Galactins bind to sugars on the surface of the immune system's cytotoxic T cells and destroy them, thereby weakening the immune response and allowing tumors to grow.